Books are great. And reading is a great hobby to complement Lego building. And with this latest gift of purchase set, Lego attempts to merge these two relaxing activities together. I'm Joe, and this is my review of the Lego idea set number 40698, Books are my passion. This set is based on a fan designer's winning submission for a Lego Ideas fan contest called Me, Myself and I, and it is a gift with purchase at lego.com or lego stores between the 28th of October and 11th of November 2024, when you spend over $130, euros or pounds. But before we take a look at the build, let's check out the box first. It's always surprising for me to see a gift with purchase set with a Lego Ideas branding, and the box uses the normal 18 plus design, which is just a shot of the set over a dark blue gradient background. The set's name has been updated from the fan submitted reading reading reading, but the logo top left is nice. We get some more logos below along with the set details, and the back showcases the set from another angle along with the dimensions for the set as well as some promotion for the ideas initiative. Opening up the box we find 4 numbered plastic bags, 3 loose black plates and a small instruction booklet which has a nice introduction to the fan designer along with a picture of her holding her original design. It took me about half an hour to complete the build which is on par for a gift with purchase set. We start off by building a very cozy armchair, complete with a cushion, before moving on to the base of the set that balances tiles with studs, where everything will eventually be placed. Next, we start building out the bookshelf, where you'll build a variety of book assemblies, and as we move up the shelves, we also complete the side panels of the bookshelf. Once the shelf is built, we get to decorating our set with a potted plant, a side table, quite a few decorations for the top and bottom shelf, and finally, a nice ladder, something I wish I had for my own bookshelves. And once you're done building, you should end up with these extra pieces. Now, onto the set. The completed build is made up of 285 pieces and measures over 12 cm high, 9 cm wide and 9 cm deep. This is an 18 plus set, but there's nothing really challenging about the set, so that can be ignored. Aesthetically, the finished build is very nice and definitely hits that cozy feel of a book nook. The final design has been modernized a bit and overall it's a lot more colorful compared to the fan design, but I think that was a good move. Let's take a look at that bookshelf first. I love the variety of colourful books on each shelf. It does reuse the same building techniques and pieces, but the range of colours makes it look really really good. I also like the addition of two printed tiles of a letter and postcard that is placed on the bottom shelf alongside an ink pot and quill. These, along with the boxes and globe on the top shelf, gives it that nice cluttered look. I have two gripes with the top section though, and both are deviations from the original design. Firstly, I don't like the colour change for this tile in front, and secondly, I really wish we still had that original two-piece globe. The printed head is fine, but it could be better. It's also worth mentioning that the back of the shelf looks quite odd, but it's not like we'll be seeing that a lot. The ladder is quite a straightforward build, but I love how it completes the bookcase, and it's also clipped in place nicely so it won't topple over. Before I place the other pieces of furniture, I just want to highlight the floor that has a nice red carpet in the middle and is finished off with a very nice black tiled border. I'm super happy that the armchair was changed to dark blue to make it stand out in front of the bookcase, and it can comfortably seat the included minifigure. The side table and plant build are both excellent additions, and while they are very simple, it really brings the nook together. So moving on to the minifigure, I like to imagine that they based this off of the fan designer of the original set. The figure definitely looks like an avid book reader, with a classic argyle sweater and thick rimmed glasses. It is a bit stereotypical, but it works. None of the parts used here are new, and there's no leg or second face print, but for a gift of purchase, it's perfectly fine. And she also gets a very bright lime green book, which is an odd choice to me as I would have preferred something a little bit more subdued like dark green. And inside that book we get another printed tile. To me this was a very nice and well timed set. Autumn is in full swing where I live, and all I want to do is read books, play games and build lego all day long. With this being a gift for purchase, I think what we get value wise compared to the purchase threshold is great, and it makes it easier for me to buy specific sets I've had my eye on for a while. The build was a quick but fun experience, and the completed set will look really great on my bookshelf. Anyways, let me know what you think about this set, and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you like this review and what we do. And as always, thanks for watching.